For Sandy Hook, making sure students are safe as possible is a top priority for every Connecticut school district. Bridgeport's new Security Command Center opened up today, and it allows district officials to see what's going on in every school from just one location. News 8's Sally Reed was in Bridgeport today to get a first-hand look at that system. She joins us live now with more. Allie. Hey, Keith and Ann. Bridgeport had actually started its efforts to ramp up its school security several months before Sandy Hook. They're rolling it out in three phases. They just completed phase one, and today we got to check it all out. Take a look at Bridgeport's new school safety command center, where all eyes are on the students. As you can see, there's about uh, there's over 700 cameras now monitoring all the school buildings in Bridgeport. We have a few different ways with the new command center. We're monitoring uh, the cameras, so if we see a suspicious party, uh, something that doesn't look right, we have uh, officers mobile. We'll call them directly, send them to the scene. An officer can now respond to a school emergency within minutes. City officials say Bridgeport schools are now among the most secure in the state. We cut the response time down by like two minutes just having the uh, officers mobile. They're now planning for phase two, a more than $1 million effort, which will double the amount of cameras in the schools and add another layer of security. But we'll also have the capacity to literally unlock and unlock every door uh, automatically from a central location. The students know they're being watched. Police hope that will deter them from committing any crimes and also assure them they're safe. Police, I, you know, in Bridgeport, they took this job to help people, especially the kids. I mean, we all have a special place for kids, and uh, we want to try and do what's right and keep them safe in the future. Phase one of the security measure, what you just saw there, cost $190,000. Bridgeport officials say that money came from both the Board of Education and the Bridgeport Police Department. Back to you guys.